I do think it's a reason for us to not necessarily panic, but just to be more vigilant uh, and to recognize that the precautions that we have been talking about for the last uh, year or so are all the more important now than ever. Well, the Omicron variant has some doctors on edge. They're worried about stopping the spread of the newest variant, but here in Florida, it's a different story. Our numbers are actually trending down, which is a good sign. The number of COVID cases in Florida is the lowest since last May of uh, May of last year. And joining us now to talk about that and more, including the end of sports betting, is former State Senate President Mike Karadopoulos. Mike, good morning again. Thanks for sticking around. Good morning, Ryan, and I vote for deep dish pizza as well. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, it's always a, a good way to go, right? Number one. Let's talk about the Florida <laughs> COVID numbers. I had a lot of people in Chicago ask me about how things were in Florida because, of course, totally different regulations there. And right now, Florida numbers look really good. They do. That's the great news. I mean, let's all pray that this Omicron variant is, is not as difficult as many people anticipated right after Thanksgiving. But great news for Florida and the lowest numbers since the beginning, really, of the crisis back in 2020. Uh, clearly, our policy of a uh, mixed situation, we're balancing, of course, health concerns with freedom has worked out very well for us, not just on the overall COVID numbers, but also on our budget numbers. As we all know, the Florida budget is booming right now. And record numbers of folks are coming into Florida because they see this as a land of freedom in contrast and honestly to places like Chicago and New York and California. Yeah, it definitely felt different there. But I got to tell you one thing I feel like they've done better, Mike, uh, sports betting. It ends abruptly Saturday. and This was very popular. A lot of bettors feel like Florida dropped the ball here. We've got sports betting legal in about half the states. What happened here and what do you see in the future? Well, the, the, the interesting part is Florida actually passed the legislation. They went to the Department of Interior. That's a federal organization, of course, run by the president. They said everything is okay. But then a federal judge said, no, 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 you can't have sports betting off the tribal let's just say grounds that means in the internet or in the ether of the internet and so you're going to have to go back to the drawing board this doesn't disrupt the other things like craps and roulette and poker and blackjack etc at these tribal places but as you put it perfectly they turned off the sports betting no yeah. more betting allowed until they figure it out on a federal level or win the appeals case in the in the federal court yeah mike i just feel like it's an all lose because you've got people that are going to go to off-site betting that's not regulated the money's going to go away from florida so it's just kind of unfortunate all around it is, and that's why a lot of people are saying they want the federal government to really get involved. Hopefully, they'll overturn the first judge's ruling because, as you put it perfectly, people are going to be betting. We might as well create some tax revenue off it as opposed to what's happening right now. Yeah, I've been in the chat rooms. They're going elsewhere for sure. Let's finish with this. School board races could become partisan. What's your read on this? Well, what happens, of course, right now with the CRT and other issues, people run for school board in nonpartisan races. And so when people run, you really don't know where they stand on the big issues. And so there's a big push right now, especially here in Brevard County, for a school board race to be partisan because we found out recently one of our school board members kind of campaigned as a moderate, if not conservative. Once she got into the school board, she's gone hard to the left and has created a lot of controversy. And so there's a local bill here in Brevard to make school board races partisan. And it's a bigger push as a constitutional amendment to make them um, partisan across the state so the people have a better idea who they're voting for. Look, we don't love partisan politics, but at least when you have an R or a D next to your name, you have a better idea of where that person is as opposed to a nonpartisan race. That's why they're making a big push. But it's a very, very difficult uh, amendment to pass because remember you still need 60 percent. That's right. We'll have to watch it. You know, sheriff races are partisan. Some don't think they should be, but it's a big debate. Mike, got to leave it there. Always appreciate the inside. Have a great day. Have a great day, Ryan. Thanks for your time. All right, 8:39 is the time we're.